Hello, everybody. Welcome to Hongi's Hideaway. Would you uh, like to take a room, or do you just uh, would you like to investigate our amenities? I like to investigate your existence, please. <laughs> Farewell. <laughs> So, yes, welcome back to Sims 3 with Norvis. We just finished becoming a creature robot crossbreeder last time. What's his expression? Uh, Haunted? Well, well, he's very fulfilled and also stressed out at the same time, so... Oh, me I too. Guess that's what that, I guess that's what that feeling looks like. <laughs> he's haunted, okay. Yeah. It's, so our latest wish is now physical perfection. Reach level 10 of the martial arts and athletic skills. We already have a head start because we're level 9 athletic. Oop, hydrate. Yep. Oh, Milo! Hey, Milo! So let's immediately hit the gym, I think. This is what peak performance looks like. Yeah, you may not like it. I don't like it. <laughs> He's thinking about pools. In enrich him by putting him in the water. Why does he walk like that? Uh. <laughs> no. <laughs> ah, so that's what happens when there's an error like that. Norbus was briefly deleted. <laughs> Oh. Uh, I think I see. Is this space car gone? No, oh, it's over here. Oh. It's over here. <laughs> How do you get it back? Uh, I think if I just visit the gym now, he'll just use it anyway. He'll just call it remotely. Norbus almost got to die. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, I remember his cop car that he doesn't use anymore. New plan! We're reloading the game! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Just Sims 3 things. That's a brand new experience. We opened the stream with Norvis exploding. <laughs> oh, God. It's what I've always wanted! Yay! De-yeeted. De Alas, we cannot undo what we've created. No matter how much I would like to. Okay, let's try that again. Take North. two! Visit the Palms Gym. Error trap recorded, 177. Don't worry about it. All right, he's thinking about pools again. Which I guess means that Sims thought RNG is consistent. There we go. That's a nice tree. <laughs> Sorry, sure, check fan art, check fan art, check fan art! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Red Onesler real. God damn. <laughs> oh, let me, let me put this on stream for a moment. <laughs> What's that? My laughter. Uh. There you go. <laughs> In response to <laughs> Capitalist Chore, we just read Onceler, we have this. Check out the Paladon's Discord. Correct. Check out the Paladon's Discord for more of that. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Running man. There he goes. I. I heard whoever what that is. Those noises? I thought that was Norbus for a moment and I was very confused. Ma'am, are you okay? Ah. 
You ever seen elderly person pumping iron? I have now. Sounds it sounds like what you would think it would. He's like a horse. I mean, she had a horse symbol on her sweater, so... Join the Discord for Torbler, yes. I love that that's your first chat in these, in this, uh, in this channel. I just... <laughs> thank you, Milo. Thank you, it's wonderfully highlighted for me with first time chat. I'm screen capping that and putting that in live blog. <laughs> thank you, Milo. Oh no, Norbit is... Thinking really hard. He's raining and also smoking. Yeah, let's master the athletic skill. Howdy, party sim. Little cat emote. Aww. I love that it keeps moving like while the game is like frozen. It scares me a little bit. What? Did somebody just fall over and die? They may have fallen over, but they, we we would know if they died. Which we is, would know. We would know. Which is, I I understand that that is ominous. Have a have a juice, Norbus, and then eat, and then power cleanse. And I gotta remember to tend the garden in the morning too. He's stinky. He's smelly. Uh-oh, stinky. Uh-oh, stinky. He's already so swole. Oh, I don't like how defined he is. He's like a shrink-wrapped dinosaur. I do love that he takes one last long-distance sip from the crumpled container. <laughs> I like that very much. Yeah, Loon's been inflicted with the curse, I see. Bunny time. I think Norbus could crush me like a juice box and he wouldn't feel any emotion about it. <laughs> He'd be like, he'd be like, I'd like, hmm, yabble sorts. Yeah. And then he puts me in the dumpster. Seventy-three vehicles have been removed. He's eeping. He's eeping. Get neat. I just wake up, you're, you're full of sleep. Lazy man. You have stuff to do before work. He still has a job? Yeah, he hasn't quit yet. We ended it immediately after last time. Alright. Time to do some creature robot crossbreeding. The government is happy. When they're happy, it means new toys in the laboratory. You've been tasked to create a new species, specifically one that combines the best features of living organisms and robots. Sharks or sea bass, it makes no difference. Just don't forget the lasers. 
Can we trust Norbus with this? Can we trust Norbus with anything? No. I don't like that we can see his dreams. I wish the space car could teleport across islands. Although there's no road over here, so it wouldn't matter much anyway. Hmm. Norbus, you're late for work! for work at my job, the Horrible Abominations Factory! There we go. <laughs> Norbus with a piece of toast in his mouth. No, Norbus with like a juice box in his mouth like it's a piece of toast. Yeah. But like, he's like, got the carton in his mouth, not the straw. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Brick. Sure, we can participate in the science fair. Yeah, I don't know, maybe, would, would, would holding it by the straw alone be more impressive? Maybe? <laughs> I have to do that on the weekend, so let's hit the gym. Norbus gym time. There's the weather stone. And let's do one last quick burst. Fine specimen. Norbus has put in long hours of exertion and restraint to become one of the finest athletes in the neighborhood. Norbus should take a jog around the town to show everyone what number one looks like in action. Uh... Oh, uh... Bibs, he thonk! <laughs> Neem, neem. <laughs> yeah, Norbus? Zarkle Thinking about it. Anyway, uh, real estate travel services, travel. <laughs> Let's go to China. Oh, but I teleported to China from inside the gym. Okay. <laughs> Normal activity. Yeah. Oh god, I just remembered that most of this music here is, like, um, actual non-Sims music. So, like, the YouTube body of this is gonna be like, We've detected that you, we, you, you, this song, this song, this song, and this song. Oh no. I don't think we technically can monetize our videos on the stream with us channel anyway, but if we could, we wouldn't be able to do it for this one.
I think I said it before, but the intro song also, when it first pans over the map in China, is also in Command and Conquer Generals, also by EA. Long loading screen. Longer than loading the entire file back up again was. There's so much to do in China, apparently. Come on. Almost there. Almost taste it. But not quite, because that'd be weird if I could. That would be weird if you could. It would raise some questions. Like, what does that taste like? I don't know what that means, Loon. But it's possible that this, too, is a pre-existing song. Not made for Sims. Oh my god, Sims! What's happening? Not a lot, apparently. You have to flag this as an intermission on the sponsor block when on the VOD. How can the stream be stuttering? Nothing is happening! Uh, I have no dropped frames, so I think that might be your end. Well, the game isn't frozen, the game tip just changed. Oh, there we go. Man. I'm doing a night. I'm keeping an eye on stream to see if there's any stuttering. Time to visit the marketplace. It seems fine. I did have to reload the player a bit ago because it broke. <laughs> so that they haven't. The... Why is English so difficult today? It's a crappy language. Yeah, um, the player wrote for me a little bit ago, but that also might have been because I opened a massive Google spreadsheet. Because on Tumblr, Woosh asked me how many OCs I have, and the answer is over 300. I could make it, you could make a small army out of that. I Hello, could. I would like to make a purchase. Ding, 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 ding. Ding 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 customer ding 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 hello ding 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 why are you closed the people demand to know this is just like working in real retail have you seen that video. I don't think I have. I do oh, not some recall. some guy who was like super mad about the the mall being closed, but it like it wasn't closed. It was just the, just that one door was locked, and like there was even an employee inside gesturing to like go use that door. But it was like, why are oh, you closed? Bang, bang, bang! Why are you closed? <laughs> oh my god! 
hell on earth? Yeah. Geez, don't you go see what the other stores have in the meantime? Food merchant, book merchant, special merchant. Hi. I guess I'll say hi to you. I don't think I can buy anything from you, but I. This may have. Web! Jezzle! Formal knee? Web! Jezzle! There you are. I'm so misfadu a cop. I'm so wama zabalu. Blackout? Norbus event. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I cannot afford any of this. Zib zib. Norbus would like to sculpt this man, apparently. <laughs> no, you may not. Sculpt? Sculpt, make a sculpture of him. Oh, uh... I may have misunderstood which entity the verb applied to. <laughs> entity. Sound of puddles. Alright, I would like to purchase these for later use. In the meantime, though, while we're here... Let's go visit the Phoenix Martial Arts Academy, which I originally was going to place in town, but then decided against doing. Because then there'd be two, and that'd be a little weird. Yeah, Vidic. Also, it is one of the reasons to travel to China, so it felt a little weird getting rid of it, too. I love that we go on a vacation to bring our alien space car. Cool. Oh, I should have bought a tent. Oh well. Then I can sleep here. Over then I could sleep here overnight. Uh, hold on, Norbus. You're level three martial arts, I think. Uh, Sims Wiki martial arts. Let me see what the board breaking levels are. Balsa wood. Norbus. That one seems appropriate for him. Uh. <laughs> He's color coded. Yeah. Yay. For now. Yeah. Uh. Norbus is now exhausted. Sounds of grunting noises. Hey, Ro. B. <laughs> he just went A. And I cheat. Navi so boy. Nakin so banachi. Marbus is reaching to become the peak of physical perfection, which is a subject that obscures me greatly. 
Yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh. Oh. Goggle. Yeet. Huh? Huh? I'm trying to upgrade the shower, people. <laughs> oh. Uh. Uh. More be seen. <laughs> These are regular activities to be doing. Yeah. <laughs> Progress towards skill challenge. Alright, time to head to the uh, resort house for now. We'll pick a bed. Uh, I think this one. Cause like, we're not sleeping like a sardine. <laughs> Getting the dab! Yeah, I do that on vacation all the time. Does Norbus have the ability to dab? I'm pretty sure this game predates the dab. Oh god. I mean, it's fairly recent, so... Uh -huh. Like, all things considered. I keep forgetting the passage of time and, like, where events are on the markers of this never-ending thread of existence. Okay, Sims 3 into the, the final expansion pack of Sims 3, released in late 2013. And There's was a first... what?! Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Bro. Come on. You cannot get here three seconds before me like that. Ah, oh my god! <laughs> Wake up. Just is. No, yeah, uh, the final expansion of this game predates dabbing by about two years. Well. <laughs> oh, so I could get in bed with him, but he can get in bed with me. Alright. Sure. Okay. Logic. Normal. <laughs> Norvis's title in the jock social group is now Party Sponge. What's that mean? I don't know! I'm not a jock. I couldn't tell you. Spong. Party Sponge. Party sponging in the house tonight. Everybody's gonna have a sponge time. If we could make you sponge your mind. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't know why that is where I draw the line, but it's where I'm drawing it. SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> Norbus meandering away. The word of the day Bapt. is babbed. Babbed. The camera hates stares so much. <laughs> Babbed. What happened to the path here? 
Why is it so shaped? Um, great question. I guess we'll never know. It's fine, it's only the main pathway in and out of your home base in one of the three major locations in this expansion. It's not like they needed to, you know, put a lot of focus on it. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going out for dinner. I had sushi earlier. As like a lunch. Um, a lunch. A lunch. Some like stir fry mix in the freezer. I haven't had lunch yet. I, I mean, I started this. We started this stream at noon for me, so I ate before this. I've had breakfast. That's good. Good you had breakfast. Time zones. Harvest shower moments. I might actually go get some ice cream because I now have homemade rum raisin ice cream that me and dad made. Fancy. Yeah. No and I haven't tried it yet. And it's really tempting to just get up and go get it. <laughs> Norbus is meditating. Norbus clears his mind. Oh, <sighs> Levitate? Oh yeah, now he can Xenoport. <laughs> Just like World of Warcraft. Yeah. Jitmar. <laughs> when your mind is clear. He's become blue. Nervous Bloodle Bop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just start to watch that guy get in the bed again. Beds are kind of a mess in the in the base camps like this. Norbus Bloodle Bop. Bloodle Bop. <laughs> anyway, I've purchased like the board breaker and stuff so we can put these in our own house at home. Yeah. Everybody snoozing. So eepy and tired. Hopefully everyone else has normal pajamas and there's Norbus. 
members enjoy standing out. Yeah. We usually have dinner anywhere from like five to seven sometimes, I guess. I have dinner when I am hungry for dinner. Whatever that, that may be. There's lots of times when that could be. Jorb is a master of his own destiny. Hmm. I mean, yes, but that doesn't mean I'm responsible with it. Of course, of course. That parrot was there yesterday, too. Or whatever type of bird it is. The well-known Chinese parrots. I don't know enough about birds. I should really know more what about birds, but birds? I don't. We just don't know. Hmm. We just don't know. Yeah. Well, this guy just delicately slapping the uh, the boards. The punching That's machine. me. I'm delicately slapping. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying, bless his heart. <laughs> Birds are those guys from Klonoa, you're right. So true. <laughs> I hear you bowing the line. Did it pick you up on my mic, the, the leaf blower? No. Okay, good. Who is listening to Tropical Island music? This guy, also... I hope he's got a yellow belt and he's still, like, slapping. Kicking, dude. Huh. Uh. 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 meditate. Uh. Narbus meditate. I love that he like you could he could like fall while meditating. Breaking blocks at 2 a.m. One televisions have been turned off. 
To know how many days Norbus has left in China. Uh, he is at four of six, apparently. I nearly forgot to finish that sentence. <laughs> how many I... days does Norbus have left on the planet of Earth? How <laughs> many days does Norbus have left? None specified. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, 7 a.m. Time to go to sleep. 8 a.m. Time to go to sleep. <laughs> We've all been there, Norbus. Yeah. Hey, at least we're not having to fight for the beds. <laughs> A small victory. <laughs> Someone's playing video games. That's me, sorry. <laughs> You're downstairs in this house in China. <laughs> Klonoa is coming for him. <laughs> Klonoa needs to reach the top shelf and Norbus is all that he has available. <laughs> Okay, I'm adding that to my quote queue. <laughs> I don't want to see what Norbus looks like after being Klonoid. <laughs> I'm not strong enough. Do you stream Quinoa too? Because you have the capture card left. Wasn't I waiting for you to play Quinoa too? That too. I never played Quinoa. <laughs> I got to 5 2 and, and Quinoa 1 went, I don't want to do this again. So I just beaten it on, on the Wii version. And then I never went back to it. And now I've just been playing Crash Team Racing. Oh, thank you, Brick. What if I just start playing Quinoa 2 right now? What Norbus? Maybe after Norbus ends, I will play Quinoa 2. Thank you, Brick. Time to meditate. After Norbus dies, Norbus. we'll finally play Klonoa again. Norbus can never die. Well, that not permanently. True. They did make him immortal. I think it's cool that he levitates. <laughs> Man. It's useful for cheesing some of the dungeons you can explore on World Adventures because you can just teleport. Sims 3 is a dungeon crawler? In mean, World Adventures, you get to explore ancient tombs and, and find lost relics and stuff. Oh. Whoa. There's a lot. I don't know about the world. Adventures. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Funny Norbus break the boards. Norbus has earned the title of Timber Terminator from breaking boundless boards. 
Normal speed will pop down a better chance of breaking boards. Increased hand eye coordination allows occasional recovery of gems when breaking space rocks. He's smelly. With his hands. Marbles can karate chop space rocks? Yeah, with the board breaker that we've been using. Aww. He's very powerful. Well, I technically can't do it until level 9, I think, but... Once he gets there... He's almost there. No of sleep. <laughs> the tropical music again. <laughs> Thank you, party. <laughs> We're pretty sure martial artists have hair. Source, Norbus. I love that it's pertinent as well. It's relevant. <laughs> to our current experience. Norbus' sleep cycle is so wrong now. <laughs> Norbus wants to perform a legendary gig. What? Huh? Norbus, you're not a singer anymore. You haven't been for eight for like months. What if he wants to be? 7 p.m. Time to start the day. <laughs> We've all been there. We've all been there. <laughs> Level nine. If they been so toy. I think Norba should get to sing again. It's been long enough. You can do a reunion tour of just himself and no one else. <laughs> Oh yeah, we've been dealing with like on and off like heat wave and then thunderstorms. Right now it's um, like 74 degrees and it's not too bad. We have the AC running. I've got a fan in my room. Um, I am okay as long as I don't do anything too physically active. How about you, Jorb? How's how's your weather been? I would be fine. We 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 got our air conditioner like repaired recently. And we've got like fan we got some new fans in our rooms too, so we've been doing fine. So long as we stay indoors. Yeah. Oh boy, two AM time to meditate. Oh no, Loon. Oh I am in California though, so you know. Yeah. We're kind of used to the difficulties. Midwest. I'm used to cold, not warm. Well, come over here. You could have warm all the time. <laughs> Whether that's a good thing or not is debatable. I think this rock session should do it. Probably. Probably. If not, we can just meditate for the rest of it. Meditating for the rest of it. Okay. 
Marvis's party is ending. We're getting a bunch of gemmed stones. Nice. Lapity Zuli. Are you kidding me? Norvis is too sleepy to meditate. Huh? Norvis? Have a nap, Norvis. Meditate. Not longer. Just wanted to save my time, you know. Oops, stretch. Ugh, my bones. <laughs> Norbus reach enlightenment. The wish counter, 17 of 85. Whoa! And now, it's time to... Where's the... Uh... Where's the... the... Have you lost the wheel? I mean, I have the wheel, I just don't know what's why the, the, the source isn't working. Oh? Why... there we go. Haha, <laughs> weird. Time to spin that wheel! And survey says... Major Master, we're going back to school! <laughs> I love how whenever you spin the wheel, the bit rate crunches itself. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh. More of a school art. Barbara has earned a new belt. I am going to celebrate Norbus by getting ice cream. I will be right back. Hooray! Sometimes I feel like you put on the rack. Yeah. The trip is over! Oh god, the tropical music is playing along with the loading screen music. done fine arts and communications or maybe no we did fine arts and tech so we're going to do communications next we've returned in the nope no we haven't <laughs> it put us back in the gym and then it didn't
Lorb is hungry. So I like that we never actually got our second degree. Like, we finished the degree, we just never received the physical paper. I'll fix it eventually with, like, a debug cheat thing, but, uh... I figure probably best not to do it yet in case it messes with uh, this wish. Because technically you would need to spawn yourself a new, generate yourself a new diploma, and I don't know how what the game considers that as. But yeah, we technically have a technology degree that's an A, we just don't have the paper. Put me on the rack like one of your World of Warcraft NPCs. Do they typically? Hmm. Also got that little emoji. Yeah. True. Ah, stuck hands. One time I went through stocks and just pulled every single NPC at once, so that was fun. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh, Nexo. Oh, Danby. Norbus is getting EP. Okay, Norbus, you may eat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Norbus is now merely a free thinker with the rebels. Hold on, I still have. <laughs> you know. Literally, I still have it on a sticky note from back then. I never removed it. I also have Dance Riot. Yeah! We met through a website that no longer exists. I go, so it existed, then it got shut down, then it got brought back a few years later, and then it got shut down again, and is currently still shut down. Yeah, it's finally dead, unfortunately. And I never did export my playlists. It's been dead for a few years now. I know, it's so sad. I don't need this anymore. Ah. Eh. Ah. Ah. Waiting for Norbus's plants to grow. I think I'll probably put down the board breaker in here somewhere, um, just cause, uh, you know, it could be nice to make rocks happen. I can find a good spot for it. Uh, hmm. 
fits here, but... Eh, whatever. That's fine. And we have actually no use for the other one, which is kind of funny. Yay, more life fruit. And now we're besties. Also, f like, do you want do you want to tell the story about how we technically met twice? Okay. Once you've creamed your ice, mm, I don't want to call it that actually. Horrid little outfit. <laughs> oh, you know. Mass produce and then head to the science competition. Mm. Hooray! Especially Norbert is over there. And I'm back. Hey, welcome, welcome. Hey, uh, ice cream update. It tasted more like rum than like raisins, so I didn't really like it. Rip. Which is a shame. Okay, uh, story time! So I was talking in chat about how I initially met Jorb through Twist Place Pokemon. That was back in like 2014, I want to say? Yeah, early 2014. Yeah. Um, which is why on our Let's Play channel, we've been playing through Anniversary Crystal. Because yeah. that was. Uh, ROM hack made for Twitch Face Pokemon. It's always been fun. And, um, at some point in like 2016, we ended up like drifting apart for a while. And, um, early 2017, I was yeah, like, watching like, a like, lot like, of sorry, McElroy for, for, stuff. For, 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 for a bit, for. To not not to go into detail, but it was like we did by drifting apart, like we lost contact with each other. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Carry on. There was a while where I was not in contact with Jorb. Up oh, and um 
Oh. I was watching a lot of McElroy content, like uh, Polygon, especially. At the time, and, not anymore. But... Yeah, at the time. Back when they were still part of Polygon. Yeah. <laughs> and um, Griffin, Griffin McElroy had a series called Peacecraft, which was he played through World of Warcraft without doing any combat, any violence to animals, just traveling around, seeing um, what quests you could do without violence, and then just kind of like on a road trip on foot, basically going from place to place. It was very fun, and um, in one episode, he was playing as a gnome, so he was like, I want to go to Orgrimmar, I want to go to the main horde city. Let's break in! And um, he ended up having like, this pretty large like fan base who like knew what server he played on. So he like rallied together like all of the fans of Beastcraft to help him break into Orgrimmar. And it was extremely cool. And during that scene, um, he played a song from Gitaru Man, like as the backing track for it. I was like, oh shit, that's cool. I like Gitaru Man. I don't really like Gitaru Man, depending on who you ask. Yeah, I don't really like talk about it much because it's just kind of something I don't like seek out. But I enjoyed the music in it and like the character designs and stuff. And another thing about me is that I am a person who reads YouTube comments. <laughs> like even though it's like the whole thing of like, oh, I don't read the comments, and people are usually really shitty. The Playgon comments at least were like usually pretty entertaining. So I was like scrolling through that. And I see someone else comment on the Gitaru Man music. And it's Jorb! And I go, oh shit, it's Jorb! It's me! Yeah, I was like, man, it's just been several months. Uh, I I do miss him. I wonder if he'll like, want to be friends again. So I message him, and the answer was yes! <laughs> and we ended up closer than before. Then again, yeah. hey. <laughs> yeah. Um, you turned so, me. Gay. Yeah. You turned me gay. I did. You <laughs> thought you were heterosexual. You fool. Foolish. And like in hindsight, it's very funny that I thought that because I did things prior to that that were definitely not straight. But yeah, yeah, it is really funny to be like, haha, I turned you gay. But honestly, I am glad to be friends with you again. Hey. It's, it's been well. I was more else. Sorry for slipping into using that language. I'm sorry. I didn't catch myself that time. But yeah, it's just it's nice being with you again. It's very funny that we like met up again because of uh, Griffin McElroy video. Yeah. And then we actually played World of Warcraft. <laughs> yeah. Because I didn't actually play World of Warcraft before. I didn't play before then. Like, Jorb has shown me some of it. No, which is why I watched Peacecraft. Because I, like, knew about it. And, um... Jorb... Uh, got me to try it out. And I had fun. So he... Bought me a subscription. Also, and also, like, the most recent expansion at the time was Legion. Being a bit of a sugar and... daddy. <laughs> um, I don't play Warcraft anymore because I got. I've talked before about getting burnt out during BFA and I watched Jorah play through Shadowlands on stream and I didn't enjoy it. Um, Dragonflight was very fun, but I don't have the money to continue having a monthly subscription right now when I don't know if I'll be able to play it consistently. It would I feel think... weird to be paying for it when I don't play video games much anymore. We should play our, our uh, like, we, we had, like, trial account characters that was, like, lock at level 20. We should play those yeah. again for, for exactly this purpose, especially now that they can do chromey time. We can do all the expansions oh, yeah. on them. Yeah. Also, they get to level again because they're, they've got squished down to level 10 from 20. And the cap is the free-to-play cap is still twenty, so they get to do ten more levels. Oh yeah.
Oh no! The stream! Yeah, I have low latency on. Uh, should I turn that off? I guess I should turn that off. There we go, it should now buffer longer. It now seems we get to, to just kind of be dying in general. Yeah, now we get to- I was like, hey, I'm not dropping any frames, so there's that. Okay. Oh no! Do we not have roommates? Oh no, wait, they don't show up on the sidebar, never mind. <laughs> oh, no, we just don't have roommates. Uh -huh. Oh. Huh. Hmm. Marbus Try is refreshing in the cold. But who left the TV on? Woo. Oh yeah, stream is frozen for me too. Hmm. It's really choppy. <laughs> Concerning. I don't know what to tell you. OBS says that the stream is fine. Might be Twitch having a problem. Yeah, I, uh, I refreshed it and it looks fine for me, but... Yeah, it's... It, Rick says it's fine. Um, it might be that yeah, it just I... really hates the loading screens. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh, okay, roommates have arrived. <laughs> anyway, I almost forgot. Let's apply for extra funds. For oh. Zami... So we need to keep an eye out for like broken sims that are actually children in adult chip bodies. Oh right! Because I should be able to actually fix that now. I love that some of these people are in their graduation robes from last time. Like, yep, time to take another another course. Time to go get another degree. There is no quote fifty eight. Mascot detected. <laughs> oh, we can perform pool for tips. Knows trick shots. That's right. He knows trick shots, but only while he's at university. <laughs> and somehow that's not a joke because of how this works. Sim three is liminal. I love Sims three so much. It's so weird. Millie! 
Master all the trick shots now at Unip while at university in the university dimension. It's snowy. Norris, why do you even have an outerwear outfit if you're not going to wear it? Norbis will get cold. You still there, by the way, Leo? Oh, yeah. Have I not been audible? I don't think so. Maybe I wasn't paying attention. I don't know. Oh. Yeah, I, I've been here the whole time. Oop. Well. Well. Norbis sweepy. He tired. But he's also very fulfilled. Hooray. What was that? Something went poof. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I guess my mic was picking me up then. Yeah, maybe if you were just like quiet enough. Um, and yeah. Man. So most of these things left are either useless or too good. Hmm. So I think we're just gonna start amassing points now. Let's work out some more. You have a lot of kilometers and hours to focus on these workouts, so get to it. Go, Norbus, go! Go, Norbus, go! He's even got a uh, university logo on his shirt, I think, if it fits. The mirror looks very strange. I thought there were two Norbodes. Oh, there are. Oh. <laughs> I don't like that answer. That's unfortunate. Oh. Time for Norba's class time. He does look like a student now. Except for a for certain the, definition of student, I mean, for, I except for everything going on with his head, but you know, <laughs> other than that, one of these days, Norbus will put on a hat. One of these days. One of these days. Will you be ready for it you when think it happens? His hair is dyed, or is it just like that? I think it's just like that. Huh. It's his natural hair color. 
Just I mean, like in, how in, frogs have poisonous warning colors. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, in Sims, uh, hair dye is inheritable, so. Uh, genetics are. Hair, hair genetics, at least, are Lamarckian. Ah. That's a lot! Many. You're right, that is more than 6 and less than 50. <laughs> this, admittedly, there are a lot of numbers that fall between those ranges. An infinite amount, actually. True. Oh god, fractions. And decimals. Oh, 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 oh. Decimals are fractions. Yeah. For example, like 9, or 9.1, or 9.11, or 9.111, 9.11111, 1, like... You could put an infinite number of, like, digits after that, and then just add one more. Thanks, I hate it. I believe that's what we call an uncountable infinity. I don't like numbers. Scrapped someone else's painting that they weren't working on. Mean. <laughs> Enormous class Mean time. and also cruel. Child detected. Oh no. Master controller. Oh, uh, what's going on with their face? Completely deleted. The problem is now solved. <laughs> Can my microphone please pick me up when I'm screaming? <laughs> That'd be great. Trial detected. No! Total annihilation! It's such a good name for it, too, isn't it? Yeah. Recent video. <laughs> Child deletion moment. It's what we all wish we could do in real life, I think. At least once. I opened my settings and Discord crashed! Oh. Man. I like how annihilating this sim even deletes their tracks in the snow. Oh god. Like, they weren't kidding, that sure can totally annihilate. So in case you're wondering why these, like, children are here, it's because, uh, store I had originally the story progression mod turned on. And, uh, that doesn't play nice with university because there's no, like, time isn't supposed to pass here, so you're not supposed to be able to get pregnant at university, and you're not supposed to be able to have kids at university. You can't raise kids either. So, uh, the story progression would say, "Okay, these two have a kid," and then the game is like, "Uh oh, there's a child here, but there's no facilities for very for very young children here, so we'll just automatically turn them into a age them up to child from baby." And so that's why there's a bunch of children running around, is they're technically newborns. Greatly concerning. And the game doesn't know what to do with them, so they just kind of wander around. There's, there's, no, there's no, like, elementary school around here. Yeah, we're retconning them out of the timeline. Total annihilation. Complete annihilation. If anyone's ever seen uh, Dragon Ball Abridged uh, Bardock special. <laughs>
Ah, I found a found a transcript. Okay, just <laughs> free to like, like. So, how did the mission go? Complete annihilation. Where are your men? Complete annihilation. <laughs> Is that a child? Nope, that's a man. It's hard to tell Easy when they're hunched over. Easy to make a mistake. I mean, when they're hunched over, that's a child. <laughs> oh. But not for long. I'm so scared to go and delete an actual adult. <laughs> Hi. That's definitely a child, right? I can't tell. Make him get off the bike. <laughs> yep, that's a child. Oh, there's two children. Uh, two of them. Oh. Goodbye. Oh no, there's a, sh there's a shadow of them just bleeding out from uh, their prior location. Concerned. You know how it is, question mark. Alright, I need to update the, uh, the V's. Oh wow, there's <laughs> it's just all girls and then also Sid and Normus. <laughs> I'm letting Normus into both in case something breaks and he needs to repair it. Oh, and this room is Norbus's room. Everyone else can figure out their own stuff. Nope, hydrate. Nope. Remember to hydrate. Ow. I'm okay. Did you? My water bottle pinched me. Did I ever tell you about the tip? I've got to go. Bye. Did I ever tell you about the time where uh, my dad managed to cut his finger or hand on a perfectly smooth round doorknob? What? Yeah, he did that. Aww. Now you may wonder, how did he do that? Me too! <laughs> I also wonder this. Hydrate or hydrate. Frying is the opposite of hydrating, isn't it? Yeah. Then the water's coming out of you. Yeah, I guess so. Like, now that you mention it, Tammy, you're exhausted. Go sleep. <laughs> 4 a.m. 4 a.m. gaming. How to prepare for class. Computer game.
Computer game. Computer game. That really computes my game. Ah, my game! My game, it's being computed! Ah! Okay, Norpus, just... Change to outerwear, where is it? There we go. We don't want it to be cold now, do we? <laughs> Serial killer my hockey mask. Oh, I forgot that he has that. Does that count as wearing a hat? No. You're an adult. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping my eyes open for children. <laughs> nope, you're an adult with a, just a round face. That's a child. Nope. That was a perspective. I was comparing someone's height to the statue. I was like, that's a child. Nope. They're just smaller <laughs> than the statue. By that metric, everyone is children. <laughs> and when everyone's children, no one will be. <laughs> Time to bring the glass. He turns on my PS2 and puts in the movie David Bowie's Labyrinth. Yeah! I haven't seen that one, but I still appreciate it. That would. I mean, yeah, I guess you've never prepared for class properly. I'm a high school dropout! That's because you didn't watch uh, David Bowie's Labyrinth on your PS2. Yeah! <laughs> There's your problem! You never owned a PS2, that's why I dropped out of school. We remember everyone, vote for the candidate that was a PS2 in every classroom and a PS2 in every house, also. <laughs> Apply for extra funds. <laughs> That's his own queer literature. <laughs> Sounds of NPCs flirting nearby. Like, I can't engage with this, I need to go get more money. Oh, the snow is gone. Hooray. Oh, it's now 59 degrees, so the snow melted. <laughs> sure. Child. 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 Mars real estate, do's and don'ts. No, you're definitely dangerous to the timeline. <laughs> no, no. Gone. Stumps up. Got what's up, Florba? Oh. I had a PS1, and then from then on, I've only had Nintendo. Like a GameCube and a Wii and a Switch. There's just some snow gnomes around. I'll sell them. I would like a new, whoever the newest PlayStation is. Do, do, are PS5 still like a mythical beast you, you can't encounter in the wild? You know, I couldn't tell you. My most recent console is a Switch, so... Yeah. Before that is a Wii U I never used. And then a Wii. And then a GameCube. You have a Wii U? Somewhere. I've never used it, but I have it. Huh. I never what? got it set up properly and then, then the Switch came out. So, you know. What games are on the Wii U besides Splatoon? Uh, new Super Luigi U. Huh. <laughs> That's it. Alright, there's also Star Fox on it, I think. I think it's telling that a bunch of, like, the Wii U notable games, they just all got ported to the Switch. <laughs> I'm trying really hard to remember what's on the Wii U, because I know there's stuff that I really wanted, like when the Wii U was new. 
but I can't think of any of it now. I can only think of Splatoon. Super Mario 3D World? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, also Rainbow Curse. Was Rainbow Curse good? The only thing I know about Canvas Curse is that it's really hard. I need to go home now. Bye. <laughs> okay. Love it when NPCs just say that to me that I didn't invite over. Some say Norbus oh. is running to this day. It is 3 a.m. Norbus is not going to get much sleep, but that's okay. Norbus. The thing longer. The finger was canvas curse, I think. The finger. Me in the mornings. Ah, I can't remember her name, but the little paintbrush rainbow fairy from from Rainbow Curse is cute. Eileen, I think maybe. Mm. More of a stink clouds. Uh, stinky. I hate that there's two of them. Hey, yeah, why? I think they're coming from his armpits, and that makes me sad. No. Smelly. Sad face. Uh-oh, stinky. Is it a line as in, like, a line? That's fun. If you draw lines, I think the least I creative um, name like that. Uh, shout oh, sh shoutouts to uh, Ring from Ring Fit Adventures. He is a ring. <laughs> did you see the Ring Fit Kitty Q speaker? I did. It was terrifying. <laughs> I want Super Paper Mario on Switch. I will accept no counter arguments. Hell yeah. I need to play video games more. True. I don't play a lot of video games. Y'all hear about video games? Y'all hear about video games? I started playing at Crash 2 a little bit, but I had issues with my controller. Um, it might have just been that doesn't support analog, which might also be the case due to being a PlayStation 1 game. I know Crash 3 has analog. I don't remember if Crash 2 does. <laughs> and um, I am very bad at D-pad anything. Oh! Yeah, people no, hated no, Sticker sad. Star. Uh, I think people, I think Super Paper Super was like polarizing at the time. A lot of people hated it at the time, but um, yeah. it's kind of been vindicated by history. Like after Sticker Star, people were like, you know, maybe we were like that one Thanos gif. was like maybe I was too harsh on you. <laughs> you know. I never got why people dislike Super because. I think uh, it's just because it wasn't turn based. Disclaimer: Never like played it, but I yeah, I played had super, a friend. Yeah, I played Super first, and like I, I think the thing, like it's a fine, it's a perfectly fine, and good game. And it's got a great narrative and everything. I think yeah. the thing is, people were mad that it wasn't Thousand Year Door because mm. the first two games were turn based RPGs. Yeah. And uh, Super Paper Mario is a action platformer. 
Yeah. Which is, yeah, understandable. People would balk at that. Yeah. A plat action platformer with RPG elements. Yeah. I mean, I got mad when Mass Effect 1 to 2 changed how, how the ammo system worked. Like... <laughs> Yeah. You change it from you have infinite ammo, but your gun can overheat to you have standard ammo, and we're calling them thermal clips to fit with the lore. Ooh. Norbus getting a wish to go to class. While in class. Sure. Normal. Like, Norbus, I have some great news for you. You're in class right now. The most recent game I played was, um, recent as in release was Sonic Frontiers, recent as in recently played is Crash Team Racing Nitro Field. Um, I still need to finish Lucky's Tale, because so I was streaming that, and yeah. then, um, I haven't been in the state to stream recently for a while. This year kind of sucked for me, to be honest. Darbo! It so sucks. Huh? Yeah. Like, I have not been, like, even, like, on stream doing commentary as much anymore, because I've just been burnt Exploded. out and tired. Yeah. I'm, I'm starting to turn it around, but, um... I'm, I'm not sure when I'll be able to, like, actually stream again. I'm glad to have you here today. I've missed having you on Palanauts. Yeah, it's, I'm glad to be here. <laughs> That's also where Polar has been so not not happening. It's like, I don't want to deal without you. No. Oh yeah, so at Mirage. Hmm. Game I knew very little about until I started talking about it, and now I still don't know much. <laughs> <laughs> I know I a little bit more. March. <laughs> I am not good at understanding words, but I like it when the little guys. Yeah, we might figure out Beothon stuff. I don't know. Again, like, I've been tired. That's been a factor in it um but maybe it'll be more frequent again maybe i don't want to promise anything because i don't feel comfortable promising anything in general with my current state but because i know people have been like showing interest in how it happen more And then coming out to like a more casual thing again would be nice. I think that's part of why I got so like procrastinating, stressed out about the idea of it was because um, I felt like it has like a big thing. So a more casual thing would be nice. Yeah, yeah the concept of like Ikaruga as a platformer is very... Wow. It's definitely a concept, that's for sure. It's, it's like if Ikaruga, like, just switch polarity, you just turned around, right? Like, it depends on what side is facing the screen. Wait, sorry, what, what are we talking about? I spaced out. Chill at Mirage. Ah, okay, I just thought, heard Ikaruga and like, we're not talking about Sonic Frontiers, are we? Scream! <laughs> no, it's a game by the same developers as Ikaruga, actually. 
Ah, it has a similar mechanic of like color coding, um, but it's a side scrolling platformer. Chivam, Limastaza, Gorave, Rebula Nev, Dresem, Starfish. It's very interesting. It also seems a bit not something I would enjoy playing. Nebrinels. <laughs> Because Jolip saw me struggle Rumula. with the Ikaruga part in Sonic Frontiers. Yeah. Especially the final hard mode one. Strong Zabample. Uh, I died so many times. Don't sleep through the lecture, Rumula. Norbus. Rebisuba. Horazu. Bellwap. Tabaloy. Zibasa Tabaloy. Ebsis. Dorney. Eldrick Zerpal Ponzinu. I hate that your sims will like autonomously select Shabab. sleep through lecture, but it actually Frieza. decreases your performance. Man, Norbus longs to rest. Suba suave. Just like me. And yet. And yet. No Here I am, rocky like a hurricane. I think we just need to get you a weighted blanket. That'd be nice. Crush you flat. Solar took their weighted blanket with them when they moved out because it's their weighted blanket. <laughs> crushing you flat. Crushing you flat. Yeah. Smashing and crushing you flat. Yeah, I struggle a lot with video games in general, which is another reason why I've been awkward about streaming video games, because I am not very good at them. <laughs> um, and well, shoutouts to my friend Gordon for giving me the puzzle solutions to Lucky. You'll only get better from practice. <laughs> yeah, but I have to do a practice in front of an audience of people. Oh, well, practice off, off stream then. Yay! Good putting cool. Leopold on the hydraulic press! Yahoo! Solar did like leave behind a Minecraft creeper that shaped rather unfortunately. And also accidentally left behind a sable eye plushie, which I brought with me when I visited them and they told me I could keep it. <laughs> Like, wait, wait, wait! Oh, Solar, sorry, sorry. you left this. <laughs> I just need to. I just need to under, Need you guys to notice, like, so Norbus got a wish to repair the dishwasher, and then he repaired it, and then he got a wish to detonate the dishwasher immediately afterwards. Huh? Norbus? Like, yeah, I fixed it. Time to blow it up. Oh my god! I keep lately. I've been. On a Crash Bandicoot kick, so I've been watching a lot of like speedruns no. and stuff like that. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> and again, they keep bringing up the fact that like a game reviewer that was probably IGN called the um, the remake trilogy the Dark Souls of platformers, and that's hard to understand for me. <laughs> Like, yeah, Crash Bandicoot 1 is pretty difficult, but, like, it's not Dark Souls! You're a little man! You're a little man that goes spin! I'd love to know how exactly the game thinks that I can upgrade a microwave to cook faster. That's not how that works. Well, you know. That is, like, super not how that works. Norbus studied. Go to bed, Norbus. I should get back to streaming Hollow Knight with Nyx as well. You now should, that he's moved and is able to reliably yeah. do voice calls again. 
Yeah, like not that Nyx will like be available soon. It's been a while since you've done Bug Souls. Bug Souls. Bug Souls. Bug Souls. I did put in a burglar alarm, but like while I was here previously, right? Oh no, did it not yeah. stay? Oh. Hold well. on. We just double check again. Oh no, it's on the outside. Okay, cool. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, Crash Bandicoot 1 is pretty difficult if you're going for, like, completion. Uh, because of how you have to, like, do a no-death run to get the gems. Here's why you put your burger alarm on the outside of the house, by the way. Otherwise, it'll only go off once they enter a room. <laughs> like, the burger alarm goes off when a burglar enters a room that the alarm is in. If you put it on the outside of your house, then it goes off when they enter the outside of your house. Nice. So, you know. So, bye! <laughs> Just booking it! Y'all should, uh, y'all should rewatch the, uh, Bug Souls VODs, because me and Nyx came up with a bunch of useful bug facts that you should all remember, and someone please write down, because I don't remember all of them. I should rewatch the Bug Souls VODs. I've got stuff to do. Like, I need to do I, stream highlight editing, because it's been so long. Leo, I say this as nice as possible, but when has that ever stopped you? <laughs> <laughs> Or me. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> I am not immune to to this either. Somewhere I need to like download the VODs to be able to edit them. I've been procrastinating on that because I don't have a good downloader and for oh, we found out recently that um a lot of Jorb's recent stream VODs have not been saved to his computer due to not, not turning on the, the setting bo the box <laughs> on OBS. So like they've been on YouTube. Um, we don't have the the raw though, so I would have to rip it from YouTube to if I want to like edit anything from um, the recent Polearm challenge or Norbus. And also, I don't have the raw footage of Lucky's Tale either. <laughs> Goodbye, Wendell Frank. I mean, who? Do you at least have the raw of the Beathon recently, or I is think that so. afterwards? Okay. Salt Tanzur. Hmm. I'm still going to rip the previous ones oh, potentially. Nashala. I need to like write down a list of things <gasps> oh, I want to do. I have stuff that's been in progress oh, for a while. Mm -hmm. Ugh. <laughs> My air quotes job at Palinos is I am the art creator, like I do all the art assets for like stream thumbnails and uh, highlight thumbnails and like the talk sprites and so forth. Like any art on Palinos is done by me. And I also do stream highlights. However, <laughs> stream highlights are very tiring for me when we do a big series like Polearm Challenge or Norbus. Um, there's a lot that happens in them and the streams are quite long. Like I was able to do a highlight of the Duck Game stream um, and that was fun, but that was like a single stream. I would like to do highs of Marathonic, because I still have that footage, but the bitrate is god-awful. Weren't you thinking of redoing it on, like, Origins Plus or something? Yeah, but I would have to get Origins yeah. Plus. Like, the whole point of Marathonic was playing your existing backlog of Sonic games, too. Yeah. But also, I think they're gone now from Genesis Classics because of Origins being out. Really? I think so. That'd be weird. I'd have to check, but I saw people on Steam complaining about it when I was 
looking for mods, actually, because there's the Director's Cut edition of 3D Blast, which is definitely made by the developers. But it seemed like people were mad that um, the um, other Sonic games got removed because of them being ported to Origins. Wow. And I haven't had time to verify it yet, because I would have to, like, reinstall... Okay. If they're going to do that... They should at least be like, "Oh, we see you already have the games on this thing. Here's a here's a code to, uh, like you know, get Origins Plus, or at least like get a discount on it or something." Yeah. Instead of just nope, gone now. Buy it again, lol. Yeah, yeah. That's a little. That's scummy. frustrating because like already, Classics is a pretty garbage emulator. Like it was not great. You were there. You were helping me. You saw. The nightmare that was trying to get the freaking game to work and function. Ooh, yeah. Rick says 1, 2, and 3 was pulled off. Man! Um, so it just has Mean Bean and 3D Blast. Dang. Oh, if you had already, you kept them. Okay. okay. So I would still have them then. That's nice, at least, but that's still that's still kind of stinky. Uh oh, stinky! Nobis received five thousand dollars. Like I, I yeah. Again, I feel like I have to mention oh. we are applying f for and receiving financial aid when our scholarship fully covered our attendance here, and. Even, we even got <laughs> we got extra money just for attending school here. Our scholarship was that good. Nice. Yeah, I'm considering. Uh, sorry, I'm still on the topic. Um, I might go for Origins anyway because of the issues I had with Genesis Classics. Um, At least we had the because, rewinding. Yeah, but that didn't work. <laughs> it worked sometimes. It did not work when I needed it to. <laughs> so I would, um... I might have a better time for Origins, I don't know. And I would still, like, use it for 3D Blast because of the Director's Cut thing. Which I think is incredibly cool. Uh, yeah, I would... I would just start Marathonic over at this point. Uh, it's been long enough, the... Bit rate, the quality on the old one is so god awful. I cannot, okay, I cannot believe that A, I didn't notice, B, nobody told me, and C, that Exploit even did that in the first place. Play Dry Star, I probably should. Funny There's little star so guy. many things I want to experience. Uh, little star guy. Little star guy. Yeah. This star guy is epic. Diversity win. This little star guy is epic. You know? Yeah. I'm nodding. <laughs> Oh, I, I I show this thumbnail for this wish here for create bottle blessing of the Fey, but like, like the small version you can't quite tell that it's pink, so it kind of looks brownish. So I'm like, is Norbus wishing to drink some Jack Daniels? <laughs> like, t like. <laughs> yeah, I know. I see it. I see it. <laughs> like that just looks like a bottle of Jack Daniels. <laughs> I had a Wii. I had Mario Party 8. And I'm so glad that the Identifying Luck series is going to do Mario Party 8 after they originally said they were just covering 1 through 7. Nice. For anyone wondering what Identifying Luck is, it's a guy being extremely autistic about, like, positive about Mario Party. And, um, just being like, okay, here's the odds for all of these, here's the strategies for every minigames, here's the details on every board, here's the outcomes and the RNG possibilities, here's how you can, like, rig the roulette wheels, blah blah blah. You love to see it. It's like, like, three to five hours per game. I doubt that, like, the boom in the game of stealing your coins 
has like no effect like if you mash or not oh yeah in i think only in mario party one oh. uh, only in only in the first mario party it tells you to mash the a button to to prevent boo from stealing as many coins but it actually does nothing mario party 2 onwards it does work though okay i just remembered it as being like all of them yeah no it was just the first one okay Yeah, Mario Party 8 Solidarity. Oh ho ho! No, no. I haven't played many Mario Parties, but I did play Mario Party 2 at a friend's house. I wish more of the Mario. I wish all the Mario Party games had the costumes thing, though. That was such a fun idea. It was. It was so fun. We did the Wild Rest. Bleh. Wild West map, so everybody was cowboys. Cowboys three, cowboys <laughs> four. No. <laughs> it was really cool. Cowboys five. <laughs> Norbus now has a longer, recommend. healthier life. Good for him. On top of his immortality. Good for him. Headline. I mean, the Switch is pretty good, and I have no idea when Nintendo's gonna make the air quotes sequel console. I'm doing pretty big air quotes there. The so. thing with Nintendo is they very they very rarely do the same thing twice for consoles. Yeah. Like, opposed to, like, you know, the Xbox, whatever they're on now, PS5, it's like, it's just the previous console, but more. But better. Higher yeah. specs. Nintendo's like, we're just gonna do something really different. Yeah. Like, there's the N64, which had that weird, like, central controller thingy, the GameCube. Cube. Just a cube. Know. That was, like, their most normal, like, the most normal console they've done in recent memory. And you know then it had, like, really small discs. Yeah. And it like it had a handle, portable. I yeah. guess that was the gimmick for the GameCube. <laughs> you can carry it around. Yeah. You can throw it at people. You could throw it at people. Norbus would Get like GameCube to catch. GameCube nerd. Norbus would like to catch a wild nanite. Uh, good luck with that, buddy. Huh? You could only do that in the future. Congratulations, Norbus. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, and then there was the Wii, which was the motion control and the freaking Wii remote stick. Yeah. Then there's the Wii U, the Wii U which had the which game is that, but with the game the, pad. the game pad. And then there's the Switch with the Joy Cons and the detachable and the it's both a handheld and a console. The Switch, which is just the game pad. <laughs> the Switch, which is, yeah, just the game pad. <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 let me restart that. Reuse your words. <laughs> I greatly enjoy my Switch. Um, even with the whole I don't play video games much thing, I, I like my Switch. I do have pretty bad Joy-Con drift now, which is extremely frustrating. That'll that happen. That is like the one huge downside. Um, but I think like with the most recent Switches, the drift isn't a thing anymore, or like it's less common, right? Or I don't know. I have like an earlier model switch, so yeah, so do I. I know that the the drift can be fixed a little bit by just basically taking some WD forty to the uh, uh, like inside of the Joy-Con joysticks, but I don't trust myself to do anything. <laughs> And I know you can't like mail it into Nintendo and they'll fix it for free, but that would involve mailing it into Nintendo and not being able to do anything in the meantime. Ad <laughs> on the okay, oh, first yeah. off, admittedly though, have you been playing it anyway? Yes, actually, I've been oh, playing well, Nitro Fuel. Oh, okay, well, aside from that, <laughs> but when you're done playing Nitro Fuel. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, first off, screw Nintendo for being so friggin' expensive. I, I have parents 
who want to play games with me. You have we parents? We cannot, because I only have the, the Joy-Cons that came with the Switch. And, like, other such Joy-Cons, a Pro Controller, over $50! That's, like, a huge drop to have, like, to just, like, plunk down for it. Like, so we've been, like, bulking at it for a while now. It's so much! That's, like... I was gonna say, as a cost of a video game, that doesn't sound like much, but, like, video games are also twice as expensive than they used to be, like, or even, like, more than that. I'm gonna be able to just, like, get a DS game for, like, $30. That'd be, like, my once-a-month, like, prize-winning thing of, like, yay, I get to do one thing a month, I'm gonna buy a DS game, I'm gonna buy a Wii game, I'm gonna play Recoded. You know? And now, like, I can't even really do that with Switch because it's so friggin' pricey! Expensive. Like, yeah, here, Tears of the Kingdom is good. I'm not gonna pay $80 for it. Fuck. There is, uh. There is a solution to this. <laughs> Yar har fiddly dee to it. Are there any good Switch emulators, though? Because I've uh, I don't know. heard mixed things about it. I know there's a pretty decent 3DS emulator now, at least. Yeah. Which I probably shouldn't say the name of on stream. Then again, the Switch eShop is closed, so who cares? It's not like they, you literally can't buy Switch ga uh, 3DS games anymore, so... Yeah. So, Is yeah. it the one with the icon of, like, a tangerine? Yeah. <laughs> yeah like, like, at this point, pirating 3DS stuff, Nintendo literally- you are not taking money from Nintendo because you cannot buy things from Nintendo if you wanted to. My friend hacked their 3DS recently, and it's apparently not that far as long as you have an SD card reader. Yeah, there's uh, that. At this point, 3DS emulation and piracy is a victimless crime, so the emulator yeah. is called Citra. Yeah. I would love to hack my 3DS. My 3DS is broken. It needs a new battery. And also, it's just very grody. It has a broken R button, because, and that's another fail point of 3DS, is that apparently the R button will just like break over time. So I've just, yeah, you know. Yeah, like, the Canadian price especially are god-awful for both PS5 and Switch. So I know, like, I've heard in Canada that, uh, Kiss the Kingdom can go for, like, a hundred dollars, yeah. Apparently the code name for the 3DS was actually Citrus. Cool! Which explains why the emulator is called that, much like a Dolphin emulator is because the 3D- the, the, the GameCube was called Dolphin. Although apparently it was like spelled citrus, like the C, T, and R were all like capitalized. Huh. At least in the thing I saw. I wonder if that's why Desume is capitalized weird. Maybe. Uh, I think that's something Wait, else. Wait, no, because that's a normal DS, that's not 3DS. Uh, let me see. Actually, let me check. Uh, PS Game Cart. Oh, that's probably why all of the 3DS game cartridges have CTR on them. Like how, uh, the, how, uh, the DS had NTR for Nitro. Yeah, the .CIA is the, um, it's all gone. Okay. I do have a very funny moment with the friend that hatched their 3DS with them talking about it. And, like, just sorry, I, I know you, it. I'm sorry, I know you said hacked, but it sound, kind of sounded like you said hatched. <laughs> <laughs> Your friend who hatched a 3DS, raised it as their own. Thanks for hanging out. Ye. Um, hey. Yeah, my friend who hacked, hacked their 3DS was talking about it in um, one of the server I'm in with them. And I had a very funny confusion moment discovering that um, the homebrew thing they use is called FBI. 
<laughs> and they're putting CIA files in it? <laughs> that made me double take. I'm pretty sure that my dad's lap on him, my dad's laptop, he has a Wi-Fi hotspot he can enable. Um, and he titled it C- uh, NSA Surveillance Van. So oh, anyone God. like looking for networks to connect to nearby will see NSA surveillance van. <laughs> My Wi-Fi network doesn't have a funny name. That's a shame. That is a shame. <laughs> anyway, Norbus has has done so much cardio that he now no longer gets tired after cardio. For him. Which is weird because that's the one thing that prevents you from doing exercise forever in this game. So I think that means he can do cardio forever now. Ah. Let's not worry too much about the implications of that. I, Norb- I will worry about it. Norbus actually, Norbus can run indefinitely. You've heard of like Norbus, the ultimate pursuit predator. Kurt. He can run forever. God. Norbus is terrifying. By design. Why am I covered in bug bites? You're, so, you're delicious. No. I don't want to be. I just thinking about your typo from late night Tumblr last night. When you missed all the itchy. <laughs> My finger is bitchy and irritated. <laughs> Child detected. Goodbye. Goodbye. I don't know if this picked up on the mic. It did not. Oh. That one did. There we go. Funny pop sound. Oh my god, this person is still in their graduation robes. Hope them. Then again, I guess there was another semester just completed, so we're back to Monday again. I guess it's not that unreasonable. <laughs> it's still unreasonable, don't get me wrong, but less so. It's kind of weird that you, like, have clothes to only wear once in your life. You know? Hmm. Child spotted. Get your watermelon pants out of here. Goodbye. Forever. (laughs) Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> Norris has been a good boy and she'll get an extra $5,000 for being such a good boy. He's such a, a wonderful student. He's so well-mannered. Yeah. Everyone should aspire to be like Norvis. I don't think I will, thank you. As a you. student. Torque Muma. Wells in our Eva. Norbus is just like stealing tax money. Yeah. The Norbus tax for Norbuses. For Norbodes. For Norbodes. <laughs> is that the technical terminology? Yeah. 
It's like octopus or octopodes. What about octopi? They're both, I think? There's some kind of, like, grammatical debate about, like, word origin. It was like a tax taxonomy versus just collective noun. It was like the source of the word octopus and, like, the how you pluralize it in the original language. I think. It's like Latin versus Greek, maybe? Mm. It, was, it sounded like if it's Latin, there'd be octopi. If it's Greek, it'd be octopodes. Something like that? It's, it's been the, the point is there's an argument over like which one is like air quotes more correct. Oh, you need so many lifetime happiness points. So many. <laughs> Look at this. Look at that number. Him. I am looking. I'm terrified. I'm not gonna buy the motive mobile because that would render all six of these completely irrelevant. <laughs> As in, we hop in our car for two seconds and all of our needs, including our hunger, our sleep, our fun, everything is instantly refilled to full. Man. Which is absurd. Yeah, that's busted. Like it's just too good. Let's let's just go through everything. So teleportation pad might be worthwhile to get, um, just for when for the the distant islands, but it's less useful considering we have our car, our space car. Young again you potion. You get. Young again potion. We have no use for. Moodlet manager arguably is too powerful for the same reason as the motive mobile. Hmm. Uh, because, like, if you're tired, you can use it to remove your negative moodlets, including that you're tired, which will automatically refill your energy and stuff like that. Food replicator? We don't really need it, honestly. Uh, especially now that the food synthesizer exists from Into the Future, it's kind of irrelevant. Yeah. Uh, clone voucher? There's no need for that. Motomobile, I already said. Collection help we already have. My best friend? Just adds Simbot to the household. Climatron control unit to change the weather. Who cares? Philosopher's Stone, turn objects into gold. We already have more than enough money. Inheritance, same deal. Dusty old lamp, we could get a genie, but there's nothing really we need from that. Body sculptor, we're already perfect. <laughs> uh, Cloudinator is just a way to... It's just a toy. Time remote control is completely irrelevant. Once we hit, uh, once we finish messing with all the alternate timelines anyway, we get one of these for free. Oh. Uh, clean slate, uh, resets our romantic reputation, which we don't need or care about. Dramatic kelp, uh, turns us into a mermaid, but we can also ask a mermaid for this anyway. Uh, extraordinarator, uh, it sounds like it just gives a passive buff to various rooms when you're in them, but that's actually not true. You have to actually spend time interacting with the item to get a positive buff, and it's just not worth it. Hmm. Map to the stars, see where all the celebrities are, who cares? Midlife crisis, pick new traits, don't care. Hoverbed, already have. Vacationer, this one is actually just straight up bad to have. It is actively harmful. because oh, you're wow. Because, um... It, sound, it makes it sound from the description that if you take time off of work that you won't lose job performance, and that would be nice. What it actually is, is sometimes you just will, a day that you would have work, you don't have work, sometimes. Huh. Which means you can't raise your job performance, you can't get paid, it just means you work less, which is bad. Man. And, it, and you don't get to choose when it happens. It'll just happen randomly. So it's it's bad. Uh, trait chip bundle. Uh, get a bunch of trait chips for plum bots. They're all craftable. Who cares? Change lifetime <laughs> wish. Lol. <laughs> Flying vacuum. It's like an alternate like alternate bike type of thing. But we don't. Again, we have our space car. And change yeah. of taste. Reset our our favorites. Who cares? And we've already used all these. So yeah, there's nothing we need to buy at any point going forward. We can just hoard our points forever. Wow.
kind of weird. Yeah. I guess that was kind of an inevitability. It's wild, though, considering that, like, we are still so early in the series. Yeah. We've we already been playing for a while. We have completed 17 out of 85 lifetime wishes. This is... This is gonna be a long runner, folks. We're gonna be here forever. We might end up buying some of these anyway, just because. So long as they're not, like, the re redoable ones, but... Just... Just because. <laughs> Physicsing. Like, can, 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 can you move? Can, can, can you move? Can you move? Can you, like, come, uh, come behind you, trying to, try to, try to get past. Can you move? Get, <laughs> Share the share the sidewalk. <laughs> come, come on, come, try to get try to get past here. Come on, ma'am. I'm faster than you. Please move to the side. Oh, child. Child. Total annihilation. E. Pick a neck basket. Funny radio broadcast. Seems like it would be unpleasant to do in the rain. You'd think that, wouldn't you? I do think that. I'm not saying you're wrong, I'm just saying that you'd think that, wouldn't you? Look at him go. This prime specimen in his funny little outfit. <laughs> he just went around her this time, it was the same person. <laughs> Hey, hey. <laughs> Art Tob. Work it out, work it out. I don't think he's going to get to work out for 12 hours straight. <laughs> oh no! Getting obliterated by ads. Poor Loon. Norbert is now merely an in-crowd newbie with the jocks. I like how he's kept up his nerd influence just from playing video games. For now, Norbo. Time, Norbo. To get wet. Time to get wet. Go in the wet box. I do think it's kind of funny that because of the fast forwarding, he'll keep singing in the shower after he's done in the shower. Ah, oh, this guy had the same hair I made for a sim of one, a sim of you like you guys once. So that was a little surprising. I was like. Is that? <laughs> Do you have any other Sims loose in the world? Or is it just Norbus? I think it's just Norbus for now. I was going to add some others originally, but then I decided, no, the focus is on Norbus. It could be fun to have background guys now that we're like on the long haul. Perhaps. Spice things up a little. 
He's a jock, nerd, and rebel. Yeah, we uh, one of our lifetime wishes was to reach max influence with all social groups. So we spent like three minutes buying points to <laughs> just to do that. And so now it's just been slowly decaying over time because he hasn't been performing any actions actually associated with those social groups. So he only he basically just applied to be a jock and a rebel without ever actually being one. Is he like the opposite of being a rebel? Which is a sheep? A poser? Is that the opposite of being a rebel? It's the opposite of a lot of things. Norbus, go to class. There he goes. There he goes. I forgot that his shoes look like that. <clears throat> right pink. Hey, it's summer. He's got his hat on backwards and it's time to party. Yeah, I have a hat. He had his hat on backwards and it. <laughs> I will not be listening to complaint. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, Narase! Oh, that sounds familiar. Someone singing our songs. <laughs> AKA the only songs. <laughs> Almost like we didn't invent them or something. Frogman incident. Frogman yeah, incident. <laughs> the trees appear to be jiggling. That's fine. It's just high speed wind. <laughs> Gale force winds, jiggling trees. Oh my god, she's like still singing Graham outfit. They did? Oh. Maybe I can recreate. I'm gonna pride my way out of here. <laughs> if we ever make actual pound off merch. I want to do an updated, I'm going to pride month way out of here. Yeah, I would also love an oh I don't think so mister, but the fact that it's like a knockoff Pikachu might cause problems. Do we have a mascot that isn't me? Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, fair enough. Norbus? <laughs> Is Norbus a mascot? <laughs> No. I won't let him be. <laughs> There's a uh, Gronk Chungler. Loki at Who Loki. cannot be perceived. There's the Skyrim version for like two minutes. Oh, I forgot about him. Wasn't he a furry? He was a dark elf. Oh. Which one was the furry? Was it? Oh, I guess my guy was the furry. <laughs> rat God from Mad Rat Dad. <laughs> <laughs> we own the copyright now. <laughs> we are all mascots. This is truly the 
end result of collaborative storytelling is we are all our own mascots. I think Jason almost counts. Yeah. I have considered, like, drawing something with Jason, but the truth is, his talk sprite is way too funny as a blank slate. <laughs> I truly do think that Jason is just an empty white void until he's on camera. <laughs> he has a physical body, but like when he enters, can, can, can you write that down? I need, reality. Jason, I need Jason to know you said that. Yeah. Okay. You can go ahead and tell him. What was it that like? <laughs> what was it? That I truly think Jason is an empty white void until he's on screen. Until he's on camera. Yeah. Yeah, me too, Brick. <laughs> That's just kind of embedded in my brain. I, I like I really like Mad Rat Dead. And Rat God is a really good design as well. I I do love there is an implied reason as to why she looks like an anime girl. Why do any of us look like an anime girl? Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah? Does anyone, like, care or mind if I spoil Mad Rat Dead on here real quick? This is extremely funny to think about. I guess Wuxia's Disciple can be Mad Rat Dead Rat God. Anime creature. Anime creature. Cool. So, the twist of Mad Rat Dead is that Rat God is actually a parasite who looks like an anime girl. Um, and is, like, in Mad Rat's mind and is, like, pretending to be, like, a god that he can trust. And is, like, I'm so helpful and uh, I'm doing what's best for you. And actually, she's, she's trying to get him killed so that she can re reproduce. And so, at like, light o'clock at night, I just like, crawled onto solar, started talking to them about Toxoplasmosis, anime girl. <laughs> As you do. As you do. And I- that's just kind of a mood, I guess? Of like, yeah, there's this like really stereotypical looking like Moe girl in like thigh highs or whatever. Um, who is very clearly like pandering to people who like cute girls. And she's a fucking brain parasite. Aren't we all a brain parasite in various ways? I guess. Oh. It's called living rent free in someone's brain. I'm living rent free in someone's brain. True. Charge, but if you charge yourself rent, that might get a little strange. Frankly, several bees are rent free inside my own brain. Yeah. Bonus. Bonus. Special bonus. Bonus friends. You're actually 50 guys in a trench coat. Yeah. People are like welcome to like make designs of the Beathon guys, by the way. Like, I haven't drawn anything because it feels a little strange for me to like. Web. Dictate it, I guess, because of me being one of the Palamas, so I don't want to be like. I like it's emergent, so, you know. Yeah, like, be one thing if I drew it for, like, this is what I think, but because I am one of the Air Quotes creators, it would weigh things more towards my take, and I don't want that. I don't want to accidentally be the be all end all just because I am the official artist for everything else. That's 
fascinating, Brick. That's a really interesting take. Sick new lore just dropped. <laughs> Norbus is now a line crosser with the rebels. That's just level right? two. That's or oh. just level two. <laughs> but oh, yeah, he's so shiny. My... Oh god. He's so shiny, I don't like it. My, yeah, my Michael image for a while now of Rat God has just been Mad Rat Dead Rat God. <laughs> I just pictured a, a rat. Because you don't have brain poisoning. <laughs> I I have plenty of brain poisoning, just different kinds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have a different kind of brain poisoning than I do. I, I, I told you this, that like yesterday I was watching a video where like a person just in the middle of a sentence innocuously said the words like, and if you play your cards right, and my brain, <laughs> I just immediately, you better play your cards right, game on, game on, <laughs> get your game on, we'll make a great and win this fight, win this fight. <laughs> 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 I would love to see like what you guys like make of our lore we're kind of throwing together. I remember the... there's like a. Does Go anyone ahead. does anyone remember the Beyblade lore comics? I do. The things that Sky made based yeah. off AI Dungeon. Yeah. Also, um, I Norbert's just rolled her wish to learn a new recipe, but he already mm -hmm. knows all of the recipes. So, sorry, Damn. buddy. <laughs> That's rough. It's been a while since I've done AI Dungeon, but I would feel weird going back to it now. Like, now that we know more about, like, chat GPT. Yeah. And it was like AI Dungeon's model has been accused of scraping from fake websites. And as a writer myself, it feels weird. Like, it was fine to me back in the day when it's just, like, a funny thing. But, um, I don't know. There probably won't be any more AI Dungeon 2 streams from me. We can just we can just write our own sequels. Yeah. Honestly, I would. It was love fun to see, while it lasted. I would honestly love to see someone write like a long form reimagined version of the narratives from uh, from the AI dungeon streams. <laughs> like with you know consistent plot threads and foreshadowing and stuff like that, and Shout a bit less random event plot. Yeah, and a bit less on random events plot. You can do whatever you want forever. The thing is, Loon, is, is that uh, both of us are on Team Werewolves. Oh yeah, for Art Fight. I yeah. did one drawing for Art Fight, then I blew up and died. I did one drawing yesterday, and it was a revenge, because I only got one attack on me. I was going to do an attack on Nyx, but then I'm like, effort... Also, all of my yeah. drawings so far have been full body, and the, the the ref that I wanted to use doesn't have like feet, so I don't know what you what like I have to cut it off at the ankles, and that'd be a little awkward considering that how I draw the stuff. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna do a bunch of revenges because I got attacked a lot, but I've just been doing doodles and then doing like official artwork for things. So that's either been like either doing warm-up doodles, doing personal art, or doing air quotes job art. I do think it's kind of funny that like at the beginning of the month I warned you not to burn out an art fight. Then I just didn't do you it. You didn't do art <laughs> fight. <laughs> like congratulations. I was going to. <laughs> Instructions followed. 
Like, I, I was planning to, but I ended up just not clicking in my brain. And, like, then the whole thing of, like, mm. stuff mm. with, like, our price ownership issues. Um, uh, TLDR, a bunch oh, of yeah. mods quit because the owner turned out to have been, like, taking the donations might jump through the site and using it for personal gain for which years is, now. Which is super messed up. Yeah. And so there was... Honestly, like, finally, some of the mods went public about it and quit. And I don't know what's going on in that department anymore, but man, is it awkward. And that ended up being, like, the the nail. Like, oh, I, I guess I'm really not doing it this year. That's... I don't know. Awkward. Anyway, yeah, you, you guys can just do whatever you want forever. Like, if you want to go, like, oh, man, I have this, like, cool idea for the lore. You can just do it. Just we don't have any rules here. Do it. Make your dreams come true. I do have some ideas for, like, character stuff, I guess, because I've been doing, like, character designing for Palanauts. But I don't have any, um... Uh, way to cells? implement it yet, I guess. Brain cells too, yes. Um, so... There might be some hints as to, like, I don't know, character origin stuff, question mark? Or like, here's what my guy is supposed to be. So I have thoughts about that now, now that um, I'm doing more artwork. But aside from that, like, you guys can do whatever. Like, follow your dreams. Yeah. I do think it's fun that we got stuck in the time loop. Like, immediately we did break out of the time loop thanks to Jason. But it's still funny to be like, okay, our ass is going in, in the time loop. I think I like, guess the it's first canon it, that Leonot tried to break out before and failed. I think that like the uh, first stream I did after the Beathon, I still had the uh, scroll text to be "You're never gonna get out of the time loop." <laughs> oh yeah, just for the fun. Yeah. As far as my internal lore Hume goes, I that I've actually like created during last Beathon is I guess that I got stuck in orb form due to trying to escape the time loop and failing horribly. So I guess I've been in a time loop the whole time I've been an orb. So yay, wish completed. Oh shit. We did it! Yay! You know what that means. Means I'm gay! No! Santa, spin that wheel! Yahoo! And we get. <laughs> the cat herder! Let me save the wheel, make sure that everything is uh, up to date. Yeah, the bitrate eats shit nor the wheel spins. <laughs> it doesn't like it. The cat herder. Become friends with 15 cats. Nice. Hell yeah, Travis rights! Epic. Love that. Love that. We've got so many lifetime happiness points. Oh my god, my headset. You're set for your head. Yeah. It likes to unplug itself sometimes. I, I plugged it back in, I can hear you. Why is there just a, a salad on the floor? Oh, it's bad. Great question. It's bad. Oh, no. Barbara's doing the dishes. Hooray. 
Hooray! Norbus the crazy cat man. Yeah. <laughs> True. I should put a trans flag pin on Leonard somewhere. Pronouns he ham. This guy's meat. This guy's meat. Like Leonard's gonna have a cool jacket. I might as well put on some cool patches. Wait, why? Who's naked? Who? We may never know. I feel like I missed something. Me too. Is it the outside guy? Maybe. Was someone streaking? Maybe? A poor card. Hey. Oh, yeah. Hey. <laughs> Go home, Norbus. Okay, yeah, it's probably the guy that's outside then. Oh yeah, they'll do that sometimes. Oh, oh wow, yeah. Spotted. <laughs> yeah. Did you knock him? That was weird. Oh, let's invite people to our graduation ceremony. Let's invite, uh, Esuic Zoxa. Uh, Invite all the children that have not yet died. <laughs> let's invite that one get that one general store guy we wanted to make a sculpture of. <laughs> let's invite a mermaid. Let's invite another alien. Let's invite Philip. Philip! Let's invite another mermaid. Uh, I... Thank you, there's no limit, but let's just do that. Work it out, work it out. <laughs> Time to graduate. Wow, we invited people for the ceremony on the day of? Oh. That's a little weird, yeah. but okay. Jazzor. Let's see if we can uh, get inside this time. I think because last time the problem was we invited everybody that we knew. And so it clogged everything up because everyone was trying to get inside. <laughs> okay, I think we're fine. I hope. You hope. I say there's a bunch more people just show up. Oh no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Plant sim spotted. There we go. Huh? Again? Oh. My rest. Well. Okay. Congratulations, Norvus, you graduated. I'll generate diplomas for you later. <laughs> Just to put on his wall. One of all his other diplomas. Yeah. He has he he owns one of three diplomas. Yeah. Woo! Yeah! 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 Yeah!
Norbert's go home. Norbert's go home. To hopefully never return. I can only hope. Blibboards! Technically, he could come back and get the other three degrees, but we don't need to do that. Cobbler! Jaws! No gosh! Nancy! Dab dog! Off we go. Hmm. You've been live for three hours. Such Wowza. timing. I think I told this story before, but once I was watching Mythical Kitchen, and uh, there was a, they, I just noticed at one point that the background music they were playing was like, I instantly clocked it. That's from Sims 3. That's from Sims, <laughs> uh, Sims music. <laughs> uh, like, I eventually like looked up the exact song in like the OST. I think it was from like Ambitions or something. But I was like, yep, nice. that's Sims music. You can't fool me. And the, like I even pointed it out in the comments like, you can't fool me. And then they've used it several <laughs> more times since. <laughs> like, okay. Loading screen. Yahoo. I love how, the, how I have the wish counter set up. It's just kind of floating there ominously. In front of the fence. There we go. And Norbis can have juice as a treat. As a treat. As a treat. I kind of missed having the uh, space car. <laughs> Good old space car. Sound of gnome teleporting. Really? Ah, he's back downstairs again now. Oh, hey, the uh, thing I was making is now 99% complete. No. Thank you, invention gnome. Wow, somehow the invention's progress has skipped to being almost finished. Hydrate. Slurp. Hydrate Buster check right. and stretch. Oh. For a split second I thought this was my diploma, but no. It's just for hitting level 10 in athletics. Man. Uh, Norbert's I guess should slip. He's thinking about it. <laughs> He's thinking. Thonking. Thonking real hard. So I think what I would like to do at this point. Oh my god, so why is story progression back off? Turn pets on. So pets it's can now, time. Pets can now propagate the world via story progression. Let me make sure aging is on as well. Yeah, okay.
funny floaty bed. <laughs> Our task for now is to attempt to locate some cats. I don't know how to do that because I've never had to do that before. Let's get some more floor hygienators going. <laughs> right, we named we named the, the gnome Glorbo. He was coming to World of Warcraft soon. Pet adoption, let's visit the Cornelius household and see if we can run into a cat there and become friends with it. Yay. Funny Catto? Oh, right, I was thinking of. Uh, let's get the teleportation pad. I have heard of Arza, and oh, I'm yeah. incredibly excited. Yeah, they've got freaking the original like voice actors for Link and Zelda in there. They've got um, the guy who did the background art for that game as well. Like, I love yeah. that. It's so cool. It was really fun, like, an era of, like, retro throwbacks, to have a throwback to that specifically. Right. Got our Cat detected. Kitty! Babies. Roof Pet the cat, pet the cat, pet the cat, pet the cat. Hina toy bawa dewey. Oh. Yimbo. Snoopy yimbo. Booby. Sniffed. Woo! Oh. <laughs> Good news, Cat right. using door. Stunner. <laughs> 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 
Me one, Nef Sue. Gemsa. Bawaz. Aminol. Oh, strange. They are like meowing. Do we? Sasaguni? Web new. Friendship acquired. <laughs> Saying goodbye to cat. <laughs> Next up, Gilbert cat. Small guy. Small guy. Slemmy go bed. Slemmy go bed. <laughs> sure, man, you're. Sure, man, you're. If they rip so dry! This will be lethal to me. <laughs> we need to befriend 15 cats. Friendship acquired. Oh, I'm officially no longer visiting, apparently. I have to ask to be invited inside again. Let me in! Splort! Peace guy. We've befriended Gilbert and Mackie, so here's Putty and Mittens also. Uh, let's do mittens first. Let's sniff hand. Aw, ah, it means they! I cannot pathfind to mittens. No! What's to be? Give me one! Bunkle! Zip! Struzzle! Oh! Oh! Oh, okay, I gotta go bother my real life cat. I'll be back shortly. You you have acquired a need for cat, huh? <laughs> I've got to turn this radio off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What? Oh. I am being well, sniffed. <laughs> Where's mittens? On my friendship list. Oh, mittens, there you are. So, so. <laughs> Where'd mittens go? I don't want to be hugged. I want to. Where's mittens? Nope, we are now. I'm now friends with mittens. Well, I am, but I'm not Norbus's. Is. Where's the last one gotten to? Gilbert. Uh, yeah, God, camera, please. Somewhere here, there is one more cat. Is Gilbert there? Oh, there you are. 
Nepnar. Oh, dare no, Weeby. Zip, zip. See this hot dog head in my contact list. I love that I'm closer to these cats, or Norbert is closer to these cats than to his actual husband. Oh, <laughs> Animal. Kino Runa Zooey Fay. Profi Glosh, though. Imagine if Sims had an option to, like, if you were good friends with a Sim, you could, like, ask to marry for tax benefits. <laughs> Imagine that. Friendship. Friends with four cats acquired. <laughs> Goodbye, Catos. Until I meet more cats. Like, yeah. our teleporter pad to have perfect teleportation because by default it can malfunction kind of an important upgrade to have oh, here's the uh, surveillance van again Let's buy an ice cream treat. Hello, I'm back. Hello, we're getting an ice cream from the surveillance van. Great. Quiz. Um, what should we get? Freezer bunny. Twenty-five dollars for this ice cream. God damn. You no, know, right? Eating it in the rain. Normal. Everything Norbus does is extremely normal. It's extremely normal with a G at the front of it. Yeah. Oh! 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 Uh oh! Oh! Great job. Back to upgrading the teleporter. We're trying, to, we're trying to upgrade a teleporter so that it can teleport me correctly 100% of the time. Does it normally not do that? It can have a margin of error on where it puts you. How lethal is this? Not. It just oh. can put you in the wrong spot. Okay.
Imagine buying a, like, a, one of the most expensive lifetime rewards for a teleporter and it kills you. <laughs> oh right, it's a lifetime reward. That'd be horrid. I do think it's a little silly that an object can only have one upgrade at a time. <laughs> so I can give it perfect teleportation, or I can make it unbreakable. Great. But eventually when I repair enough uh, objects, I can make it so that uh, stuff that I have repaired will never break again anyway. So I can kind of get a free unbreakable on top of uh, existing upgrade. Yeah. And we have now befriended four cats. Can I text them? Oh, I can ask someone to bring them over. <laughs> oh boy, 3 a.m. Time to fix, finish work building my teleporter. Now, in just mere moments, our garden will grow. Yahoo! Norbert's out here vibing. Tend garden. All right, teleport to work, Norbus. Check this out. And now he's here. Yo! In his graduation robes. Hmm. Um, hmm. Fascinating. Well, okay. Alright. Sure. We're gonna hit level 10 and then quit so we can have more time to talk to kitties. Kitty! Your booth at the science fair never had fewer than, well, a horde of people gathered around. It was riveting to see the science emanate from you, like benevolent chemicals flowing forth from an exploding beaker. Huh. No. I don't know that I like that. I want to play hopscotch with a plum bot in the f from the f f that's in the future. Sure. I want my Norbert wants to go to the future so that I can play he can play hopscotch with a robot. This is what time travel is built for. Norbert's impressive performance has earned him a promotion to mad scientist, as well as a bonus. Without Pierre, Norbert is in charge. Nobody really takes you as a sane individual, so the title Mad Scientist is apt. Tucked into the deepest, most secretive recesses of a laboratory, you've been tasked to create, destroy, restructure, and innovate as you see fit. As the laboratory's best, you will define the future course of science for good or evil. Yeah, I think Norbert's will choose. Will you do it for good or for evil? Norbert is, however, going to quit his job now. Oh. Goodbye, Norbus. Goodbye, Norbus. No more mad science. 
Bazorbal, well, he, he'll, shoot me, Bazorbal. he'll just do unsanctioned mad science. Big and gypsy me and Bebso. <laughs> Immediately, join criminal career. <laughs> hmm. Fascinating. Uh, let's go visit the plaza. Maybe there'll be some cats there. I don't know. I don't know how finding pets works. Oh, right. We should uh, collect money from our bar that we own. Oh, yeah. Actually, we can probably upgrade it. Real estate. Oop, nope. Real estate. Check up free requirements. This property is already fully upgraded. Never mind. Oh my god, it has a bouncer? No. We have an employee. I know what you need to do. I think I'd have to use uh, create a sim for it because he doesn't. It doesn't seem to work like the resorts do. No. Sims three change bouncer uniform. Seems to be affected by a lot type. It's not possible to change without mods. Okay. Damn. Or at least not their default. Uh, I don't see any cats. Let's do an eating contest. With these people who apparently are my old friends. <laughs> Remember when Norbus dressed in a hot dog costume himself? Sibo? Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> Back in ages past. <laughs> that was like the first stream, I think. Oh god. That was before he was immortal. <laughs> Back when he still aged. Zip zip! Oh, here comes a mermaid. You can tell he's a mermaid because of his legs. <clears throat> oh, 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 mm. ah. uh -huh. oh! Who's running this contest, by the way? There's no, like, officiator. <laughs> The simple joy of it. I just love the notion of a bald mermaid in a tux. There's something about that. It's pretty good. Yeah, merman, I guess. Man, this old man's hungry. This guy's gonna go to go to the bathroom. No, I just lost. Oh, you got second. The mermaid forfeited. Splart! <laughs> Splart! <laughs> Me when I ha 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 splart. Yeah. Come on, Ulysses. Oh, Zipsy. <laughs> nope. Uh, hey. Mercy rule. Oh. Huh? Ran out of time. Alright, I think we may just have to wait a bit for more cats to show up. Oh. Just got chill. 
Yeah. Normally we would go to a uh, community lot called the Cat Jungle, but um, we don't have one of those here, so... Yeah. You know. Make some more floor hygienators for a bit. Hi, Glorbo. I love that one of the options is perform experiment on. <laughs> oh, wow. Right in front of our eyes. Huh. That's from right there. Haha, <laughs> weird. And we'll leave, uh... We'll start one and then see if Glowbrite will finish it later. Oops, surveillance van is back. Time to save. Take damage to save time. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. In what way? Always. Hmm. Are you good, buddy? I'm very tired. I do enjoy that you just kind of said that with no context. Uh, you know what? I don't really have neighbors. It's fine. No one can get mad. Never mind. I have neighbors. <laughs> Bedtime for Norbo. Oh, this music? That is the save music from Pokemon Ranger Shabbos of Almia. Nice. Did you use the relationship transmogrifier on cats? <laughs> I need to know. Another elderly alien. Those are blonde. <laughs> Grim Reaper. Makes my dead ex husband best friends with the Grim Reaper. <laughs> Normal. Normal.
No. There. Time to dig hole. Oh. I am a norb and I'm digging a hole. Diggy, diggy hole. Got an opal. I'm hoping we can get a pink diamond. Just like Steven Universe. Just like Steven Universe. Wait, did we just get it? Mm. We did? <laughs> well. <laughs> epic. <laughs> just gonna put this in the inventory. Oh, we actually already had one as well. Even better. Cleaning this out a bit. Oh my god, is there a freaking gas main here? What is that? Dua? Oh my god, it's the water! <laughs> you can dig into Oh! Oh! I didn't know you could do that! Huh. That's a little questionable. Awkward. Cut the funny gems. How dandy. Now, I'm wondering why am I not cutting the pink diamonds yet? Because I want to be able to clone them and I don't have the science skill for that yet. Oh, Nepso. And besides, I don't actually n need them for anything yet. I'll, I'll need something later, but not yet. Okay. I agree, Norbus. Uh, yeah, I need level uh, 9 uh, science uh, to clone uh, stuff, so... Uh, Not quite looking to do that at this time. What I am looking to do at this time is see if we can't find more cats, maybe. That's the same neighborhood pet adoption as before. Hmm. I don't know. We can 
can take more classes. Hmm. Huh. That's weird. Let's visit our, our, the bar we own. What am I doing? <laughs> Teleport to business or venue. Man, this place is bopping. Wooby subnets. Badu. Farble. Webzine. Mm -hmm. Camera, novel. please. Haba? Or herbo. He's a vomitic. Barzo Quanica Yeah. Barso Miss Badula Cog. Imzo Wama Zabalu. Blaka? Jarka. Miwanita. Go hard. Farble. Webzy Nabala. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> Relationship with Rang. Who the heck is Rang? Rang. Anyway, in I go. Mm. Slan. <gasps> so, so. You know what's going on here. <laughs> This is uh, the bar uh, under the same uh, brand as Hongi's Hideaway. Sunglasses. The sunglasses please, really, really add to please it. Please keep those on. Absolutely, I never take those off if they're on. Go on, change outfit. Uh, let's get a spline reticulator. Yeah, change outfits, bud. Reticulating splines. Yelsum, leps a need. Wait, the person in the thing wasn't even this guy. Who are you? Nope. Did I like <laughs> remotely change the uniform for the person at the, uh, the resort bar instead of here? Okay, sure. <laughs> Yummy, spline reticulator. Skill challenges for mixology, anyway. Okay, I am extremely tired, so I think I'm about to tap out for the rest of the stream. I, I'm probably gonna call it anyway. I'm kind of running out of stuff to do for now while waiting on cats. So. Okay. Yeah. And we'll figure out how that works better next time. Okay. Let me go for like three and a half hours. Yeah. If I wanted to cheese it, I could just like add seven cats to the household, move them into other families in town, add seven more cats to the household. <laughs> Which I might do. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, God. But, uh, yeah, thanks, everybody, for coming. Uh, next time, more cats. Yeah. See you, you then. Know, you know, like, yeah. 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 Yeah.